morning everyone, how are you? I have come out to finally test something I've been thinking about for a long time and that is to find out whether I can actually run my jewellery business from inside this car, my Skoda Yeti. It's seeming like an increasingly crazy plan since I actually started trying to pack the car. So I thought we've just got to give it a try. I came up with this idea a few months ago thinking I would like to move into my car for a few months, that it was going to be super fun and exciting. I've seen other people, you know, working on laptops and doing editing in cars, but, but not actually someone trying to run a business like mine. Obviously, usually I would do my jewellery in a studio or workshop or at the very least um, on a nice big desk like in the corner of the room. I don't know, this is going to be a challenge. I'm not entirely sure if I thought that the Yeti was a TARDIS, but it's not a very big car. So I've minimalised my jewellery stuff as much as possible, tried to pack it really tiny and I've got it in the car. The rest of the car is not fully packed with all the things I would need to go away and it's already looking pretty full. But I think we should just find out if I can actually realistically work here anyway. So let's see what I've brought with me to turn this beast into my jewellery workshop. I obviously need some sort of table, so I've just got this wood. Smallest desk in the world. Of course it's super windy like it always is when I do anything. So, world's tiniest desk. Perfect. to get in there. This would be very difficult if it was raining. Well, it's already full of dirt. I don't know how the hell people manage to not just have dirt absolutely everywhere when you have to keep getting in and out of a car. But I mean, so far it's actually kind of cool, right? So I've only got a couple of orders to do, thankfully. I am going to write those down and then let's just see if we can get started because I think we're going to come across problems on the way. Okay, I'm actually going to try and set up the sort of final piece of the puzzle here which is the pendant motor that I use to do a lot of things with might have seen me use this before um, this does need 240 power so I've borrowed a battery pack to try and use this in the car now usually it's designed to be hung up like that I haven't got anywhere to hang it at the moment so I'm just gonna lie it down on the mattress and we're just gonna have to see if it works Oh, I forgot to mention, because I forgot, it's actually operated by foot pedal. So, <laughs> I have no idea how the hell I'm going to manage that in here. But let's get it plugged in and see, maybe it can be a knee pedal. This has to be one of the most awkward things I've ever decided to do. literally utter madness. I have no idea what I was thinking and I thought that this was a good idea. Um, but hey, that doesn't matter. It's kind of fun, right? It's fun to try this out. Uh, yeah, I mean, we've got power. It was working, so that's a cool thing, right? That's a good thing. Um, Let's just put it in here. There we go. And we can just reach everything out of here straight away. Some 
people just walked past and they were kind of looking in they came right by the back of the car so i was just like hey um just kind of explained what i was doing trying to see if i could run my jewelry business from the back of the car and you know she said to me i think that's a good idea i can't believe it <laughs> nobody has said to me they thought it was a good idea that's really um raised my spirits actually <laughs> it's really sweet <laughs> bit more insanity for you some guys just walked past i wasn't really paying any attention because i was working but they went i heard them like right next to the car they almost tripped over the tripod and then i heard one of them saying oh that's really cool yeah just like living out of a car i'd like to do that unbelievable looked out there like i don't know teenagers who usually i would think teenagers are gonna say something horrible to me i can't believe that sitting here in the back of my car trying to make jewelry got the seal of approval <laughs> The world has actually gone nuts. <laughs> mm. It does look really sweet like this. I made this wrap to keep my tools in. My nose dud is currently in this pickling solution, which I need to heat this up if I want it to work quicker. So that's obviously just another thing that's a bit less convenient because I will need to get out my camping stove and um, heat some water up on that. It would actually be better if I had just a little low wattage kettle that could just get plugged straight in here um, into the power thing. Because to be honest, having to get out all the gas stove and everything, like it's just massively inconvenient. I mean, nobody ever said this was going to be convenient, I guess. I have to say, I th I'm quite impressed with what I've been able to do so far. It's, yeah, it's kind of insane. It kind of just goes to show that where there's a will, there's a way. And if there's a will to do something in your Yeti, you can do it. It's actually getting there. It's getting there fine. Um, without the heat, if we leave that, probably be done in five minutes. Another thing which I have to say I don't really like about this setup, again, obviously, is that I'm basically working on top of my bed. So anything that I file or sand or any little dirty bits are just going straight onto my bed. I've got a blanket on it, but still. Um, but that said, I could just get more like a waterproof cover or something. That's probably the best idea that I can spread out across here and then like shake it out the back of the car when I'm finishing work. So there, already I'm coming up with solutions to these problems, to these challenges. The pennant motor, I'm using the side of my foot to try and press the pedal. So that is quite challenging as well. Definitely it limits like my creativity to be like in this, to be in this small space. So yeah, those are my thoughts at the moment. It's going well. It's going surprisingly well. I'm actually quite impressed and quite happy. And it's quite cozy in here. And I could do it with the back door shut. Uh, so if it was raining, although obviously setting it all up would be a bit of a nightmare. You know, I actually thought that I was going to be able to do this with um, with my dear sweet Nancy Drew. Did you see? They made, they be making Nancy's. Um, I thought I was going to be able to do it with my girl in the car as well. I'm not quite sure how that would have worked because we are kind of struggling. And she was a lovely, lovely big girl. A lovely big girl. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't think, I don't think that would have been possible. I guess even the Skoda Yeti um, has its limitations and it's not actually a Harry Potter car. So, yeah. 
It's okay, Miss Nancy's shouting at me. You're an idiot, mother, you're an idiot. No, I don't want to live in a car. Of course you should not live in a car either, it's terrible. That's what she's shouting at me now. I can hear her. <laughs> I love you, piggy. So I think this is actually, oh, this has actually gone amazingly well. Um, another thing that is a bit of an issue is that when you're doing jewelry, I get really dirty all the time and I actually need to be able to wash my hands like a lot, which is a problem. So I wanted to put a sink in. All I have at the moment oh. <laughs> is this that's just broken, but this was supposed to be so I could have running water. And that does work. It's pretty noisy, but it does work. I haven't brought any soap with me today, though, so it's not going to get me very far. Oh! Oh my gosh. This obviously needs some little hooks, but I was just trying it out today, so... Oh, I'm really scared. Seventy-six percent. Okay, that's pretty good. I need to turn off that socket. Wicked. There we go. Powder. Well, it's now half past two and I still haven't had anything to eat. I brought a little stack with me in this cool box, which I got for the car. Funny story about this. I measured it up as you do, so it could fit in this space between the bed and the side. Measured once, measured twice, measured thrice. And then when the cool box came, I was surprised to find that it didn't actually fit. Well, it, it fit. It fit in the gap, but what I forgot was it has a handle and that needs to go somewhere where it actually needs is to go down the back there. And uh, it didn't fit down and it can't go this side because then you can't open this. <laughs> it's just like, you're kidding me. I've obviously, you can see I've managed to make it work. I managed to just slide the bed frame over an inch. So it's basically okay now, but oh my God. I was like, Tori, is that even possible? That anyone could be that stupid? Yes. Yes, it is, sir. Me. It still like moves a bit to open it. That's the thing as well. I didn't realize that the lid was going to take up this space, but not to worry. What have we got to eat? And decide if it's hot or cold.
Well, I feel like this has been a somewhat enlightening day. Um, thank you for watching. Thanks for sticking around. I hope it's been interesting um, to see what is possible, you know, in a vehicle of this size. I personally find people living in cars absolutely fascinating. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. So cool, though, to see um, what you can actually do, like in a vehicle this size. And I feel like I've really made it work. There's definitely some problems to work through. And in all fairness, you know, I don't have all my things in here. That was, I think, all the work things I need. But I haven't got any clothes in here or any of the things I need for me or more kitchen stuff. I do have my camping things in the front. So I have a whole lot more stuff to fit in. And where's it supposed to go? I'm not sure, but we'll see. That's something for another video. So thanks for watching. Anyway, it's great to have you. Hopefully see you next time. Have a great day. Goodbye from me. Goodbye from Miss Nancy. We love you.